What's up guys? So today we will be doing the 10,000 subscriber celebration video, full collection video. Uh, we got a lot of ground to cover. So we're going to start right here with the 118s in this display cabinet. Uh, I did sell off a lot of the die cast 118s I have. And uh, for all you don't know, die cast and resin very different. I started moving into the resin die cast and uh, sold off a lot of the resin, uh, the die cast ones. So we'll start here. Not sure if this is die cast or resin actually. This is a Spark Models. 1 to 18 scale Le Mans WEC car, Toyota, Toyota Gazoo Racing. I think it's the second place finisher. In case you're wondering why I'm not buying the uh, the Le Mans, the, uh, the winner. I am cheap and this car, well, it's like 30 bucks more for the uh, the winner. Same car. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, BBR Dynastia. This is a, one of the uh, resin models for sure. 100 pieces. It's limited to. With the, uh, it's actually a full carbon fiber uh, body. The gold is actually carbon fiber. I don't know if you can tell there. So it's a full carbon fiber body. 100 pieces, and these things are ranged. This thing, like 700 bucks Canadian, so not cheap. One of my favorite models in the collection this is a Pico. So these three models, all resin. This is a Pico Zonda Cinque Roadster in the very traditional white and black paint job. Great detail on these resin models. Unfortunately, they do not open up, but for the detail, for the amount of detail they have, you can't really tell, but yeah, for the amount of detail these things have, for sure. Uh, my display case isn't very clean, as you can see. Look at the interior. I mean, wow. For the detail these things have, I guess they can, you know, <laughs> the uh, the opening features don't have to, don't have to work. But uh, this one's 1,500 pieces, and it is number two. So that's another cool feature. Or cool thing about it and uh, there's a certificate pretty sure this is a BBR models as well it's a Ferrari FXXK standard model cool piece JUC another resin model limited to 40 pieces so I think this is the most limited uh, car in my collection 25 out of 40 pieces the 4XX Syracusa Ferrari so a 488 Ferrari with the body kit on it great color great body kit Love it. I'm sorry I cannot open this display case. You will see why in a sec. You know I have some random things here like a green machine, RLC Countach box. I have kind of this mess right here. Uh, here's actually all the loose supers I have, or most of them. Got the uh, k and Ven there. A lot of these I found, or traded for, or whatever. I opened them up. I don't think any of these I bought loose. Yeah, I opened them all up. Some mini GT stuff. Just again, just a mess. Got a cool green light, skyline, some uh, some premium models. Well, you'll see a lot more of this right here coming up. Yeah, big big mess. So uh, yeah, let's move on. So here is the main Formula One display. I say main because I have a few of them around the house, but uh, this is the main one. And I've just been hoarding these 164 models. Didn't really pay much too much for them. So, of course, we got some 143 ones in there as well. This might actually have to end up in two parts. So, uh, this might actually have to be part one of the video. Got some mini champs ones. And, of course, we got a full set of the Grand Prix racers, including a very rare... Toys R Us one. The Ferrari one I have in, in uh, another display. I'll show you guys later. Got some premium uh, 164 Formula 1 cars. More 143rd. Pretty cool pieces. Limited uh, limited versions. Got some vintage 143rd scale F1 cars. Pretty sure it's Nicky Lauda. Not too sure. And I uh, got the 118s. Got a really nice team transport here. I did a review on that. Check that out. Uh, 2018 F1 cars, we got Nico Hulkenberg's uh, Renault, cool livery, that is a heavy, that's actually a Solito, that's a heavy one, uh, this is the Burago Sebastian Vettel, 2018, that's a uh, Rubens Barrichello if I'm not mistaken, that's a Hot Wheels, it's also Hot Wheels Schumacher championship winning car, we got the mini champs Ralph Schumacher from one car, got the Yarno Trilli Hot Wheels down here, that is a Jackie Stewart or Ronnie Peterson. Not sure. 
uh, Lotus Player Special. I think that's by a, that's actually a vintage model right there, vintage 118. So that's actually a hard one to come by. Can't remember who it's from. And we got a Hot Wheels. Jeez, uh, what's his name? All right, this is embarrassing. That's a I know it's a Jordan. That's a 2001 Jordan by Hot uh, by Hot Wheels. That's a right Heinz Harold Frenson. That's what that was. And uh, yeah, I mean, just got some random stuff here. A few errors in here. A bunch of short card JDM cars. Uh, they are very rare in the States. Here in Canada, they're not as rare. Uh, but still pretty rare, so we keep a few of them. And uh, just, I'm not going to go through this again. This would take way too long, but there's a bunch of errors here. As you can see, there is a Civic with the wrong wheels. A Tesla with literally no windows or anything. And uh, front wheel errors. Rear wheel errors, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of short cards and errors really in there. Some pretty cool ones in there. Let me know if you want to see more. Uh, a bunch of stuff here I have for sale. Got some, the first Japan Historics Toyota. I don't know, just extras that I have that I'm trying to sell off. And this mainline Porsche actually shot up in value recently. That's a pretty expensive car right now. That's why they're protectors. Just uh, some cool, cool pieces. Very cool pieces. Um, bear with me. Ah, uh, we got more, uh, more of these here. All in uh, protectors. Again, just you know, cool stuff. Cool stuff. <sighs> Sorry about that. Quick interruption. We got uh, some more 164 stuff. Yeah, I mean just extras. Cool pieces. And under here, I think that's just a case full of Civics. So, oh, this is heavy. Alright, so uh, here's the other 118 section. These are all die-cast models. Uh, GT3 cars, track cars. We got the uh, Ferrari. That's an Auto Arch Signature McLaren, actually. That's an expensive one. Got a UT models. Uh, Golf F1. One of my favorites. UT GT1 Porsche. A couple Mercedes. And these, I think, were just gifts or like raffle wins at a local car show. Some, uh, some presents, some track cars. I got an Indy car down there, Verizon, uh, Hitachi car, some Hot Wheels Elite models. I think this, this is actually just like a box of vintage cars that I grabbed from a flea market back then. Got a cool little Error Lotus. And uh, this is actually a cool one as well. I don't know what to do with this yet. This is a good old Grateful Dead Error car. It's on the drag truck card, but it is the Volkswagen uh, panel bus. That's actually a very rare piece, alone, without the errors, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, just some stuff laying around. And next to it, we got a Ferrari shipper. So, store display full of Ferraris. This thing, three cars back on each row, all Ferraris. Hard to find, limited, very expensive. Cool pieces. And uh, here I think the Zayt, or... The Red Edition and Zaymac collection. So here we got some Kmart ones in there. And a bunch of Red Editions. Uh, most of them are in here. I do have a few more, you know, more expensive ones in the um, the basement, which I'll show you soon. More Zaymacs. Some of the newer ones, like these, these are the uh, brand new N-Case ones, Zamax. And under here, I think it's just an extra compartment for, yeah, the Ferraris. Got a Ferrari five pack under there, some Speed Machine ones, these are rare. Yeah, just, you know, Ferraris that I uh, don't have space for up there. Disney Cars, Michael Schumacher one's kind of cool as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I got, <sighs> what's under here? Just a bunch of, you got some airplanes over there. Those are actually quite expensive. Uh, some white lightnings here, randomly sitting here. Um, yeah, just a bunch of, yeah. Got big containers of uh, some of the more expensive loose cars. Just a bunch of random stuff, to be honest. Nothing, nothing crazy. <sighs> we'll touch up on this quickly. What's in, yeah, these are just some random boxes here. I think these are a box of random JDM cars. This is kind of funny because I don't leave any dots and wagons behind. And our, our Toys R Us has got like a crap load of these. 
so I never left them behind and I now have like at least 150 of these 50th anniversary Datsuns, 51st anniversary Datsuns all in here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to move on. So uh, here in the closet, you got some displays, some 118s in there. These are the premium uh, 164s I was talking about. There's an M2 there. A lot of spark models. Cool, cool pieces. Local collector who wasn't collecting these anymore. He, he was kind enough to give these up for a good price. Some of the M2 drivers I repackaged because M2 sucks at uh, packaging some of the, their uh, castings. Couple more M2s. Bunch of card backs from opening stuff. Couple uh, RLC cars. Got two Nova Gassers. I think one of these is a low number. Uh, got some haulers. The M2 section. So these two are chase pieces. The one on the left there are the Camaro. is actually my first M2 chase. First and only M2 chase I've ever found. There's a convention model. And uh, there's actually a chase hauler right there. That Mach 1. Bunch of regular haulers. Some of the square bodies. Fanta, Pez, Mellow Yellow. Some of the regular 164s. A little Fox body. The Combis. Those are pretty hot right now. And just a few assorted green lights and some Auto Worlds. Mini GTs that I still do not have the balls to crack open. Not sure why. Um, uh, What's in here? Right, these are a bunch of Disney cards chase pieces in there. And we got some M2 chases, some Coke chases, some drivers chases in there, if you can see the different colors. Got a stack of ID chases. I've sold a few off, but I do still have a few now. Right there, we got some green lights, some Coca-Cola M2, some chases up there, some square bodies. We got a raw chase right there. We got a chase square body. Daytona. That's a cool piece right there. I don't know, some assorted 164 stuff, some cool stuff. It's a Lesney bus right there. And uh, we got a bunch of uh, haulers here. Coca Cola stuff mainly here. Some regular haulers, some chase haulers, some assorted 143rd stuff. In case you're wondering why I have three of the same Kyosho, these are different numbers, so number 30, number 31, number 32, so it's a set. More Coke Chase haulers, uh, some 124 stuff. These I haven't been too big on, but they've been growing on me, so we got a 124 regular Mustang, got a Tom Kelly Chase van, and we got an orange Challenger Chase. Pretty cool. Uh, up here we got another Formula One display. We got a few F1 cars, we got an A1 GP car, some Schumacher stuff. There's a car in that one, if you can tell. I can't reach it, this is actually pretty far up. A Schumacher display, some... So there's the missing Grand Prix Racer F1 Ferrari. And we got a set of three of the Schumacher 143rd cars, those are pretty cool. Uh, got a Kyle Busch helmet, missed that. And this tractor. Alright, so I'm gonna ask anybody now. I posted a video before. I didn't have too many subscribers, so I don't think anyone really replied. It's a Monster Jam with the muddy treads. I found this, and someone told me this was a chase back then, so I grabbed it. Uh, anybody who knows if this is a chase or not, please let me know, because if not, I'll just probably give it to some kid. But obviously, if it's a chase, I'm a, I'm a nut for chases, so probably keep that. And, uh, yeah, off to the next uh, location. So quickly down here, we just have a bunch of loose 164 cars. Not too much to see. Some cool 164 stuff. You know, main lines, whatever. I used to open a lot of main lines. Not doing do it too much now. But a bunch of cool stuff here. We're not gonna go into detail. Obviously, we have way too much stuff to cover. There's a few box 164s. And here we have a bunch of RLC cars, I think. So these are all going to be, yeah, special edition stuff. Got some extras, all my extra supers in here that I already have. These are extras, like for sale or trade. We've got some sealed RLC sets. Uh, complete RLC sets. And, uh, yeah, just a bunch of RLC stuff. Uh, this box down here. Uh, let me get it down. I'm not too big in these RLC cars, so these here are just up for sale or trade for the local people. Cool pieces. 
bunch of RLC cars. Again, not too big into them. And here we are now. So uh, these are actually the 118 boxes for the 118s I have. Uh, for the ones I'm displaying. So keep all the boxes here, including some of the more expensive 118s. Got the boxes there. Some random Mysto 118 stuff there. Uh, and obviously I do sell a few of the, few of my some of my die casts. So got quite a few boxes of American muscle cars. It's a cool variation one actually right there. So a bunch of American muscle cars, got like five cases of those. And I'm not gonna take it out, but these crates I'm pretty sure there's just uh, there's actually a bunch of box 118s. So the 2020 supers I have right now. So I can feel good. I only have six of them, and every one of them has been released already. Bunch of Zaymac Bugattis. Uh, we got a. I'm trying to complete this case of 36 of these Koenigsegg Jescos. Also trying to do the same thing for this regular Bugatti Chiron in black. Let's see, I found these also. Uh, yeah, just, just. I saw. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff of stuff um, selling. Some German cars in there. Uh, random stuff lying around, white lightning, error, bunch more stuff I'm selling in there. Uh, what else is in here? We got a bunch of errors, and, uh, I'm pretty sure in here is actually just LK stuff. You can see the, uh, the Miata and the Z. I'm not gonna open up these tubs, because they're very heavy, hard to move around. Got some more 118s in here. We got some, uh, boxed 118s in there. Uh, you know what? I'm to see if I can open this up a little bit. Alright, so I won't be able to open most of these, um, these tubs up, but here's some of the Funko Pops I have. I don't know, just random, random Funko Pops. I have the chases in the, in another bin, but, you know, pretty cool still. Um, got some random 118 stuff there. Got some random 164 lying here. Some cool Jada ones. There's a Mercio Lago. This one here is a uh, McLaren 720S. That one there's a Ford GT. And uh, that's actually an extra, an Auto Art Bugatti Veyron that I have. More 164 stuff lying around. Uh, cool No Bet Tampo Air Super Treasure Hunt Batmobile. Starsky and Hutch. And uh, around here. It's actually, I have a display over there for the car culture. I'll show you in a second, but uh, there's some 124 stuff. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Phone's running out of battery, so I got a battery pack now. We're good to go. Uh, as I said here, it's a bunch of car culture cars. Some of the new car culture, modern classics. Got some Boulevard in there. What else? Got some cargo carriers. A bunch of car culture stuff I have for sale under here actually I think it's actually all my personal car culture collection again I have a display over there which I'll show you but yeah these are all just the um, car culture sets I'm not displaying right now nothing interesting everything interesting will be over there I'll quickly go through it some more 124 scale there's McDonald's toys I don't know what that's doing there These are Hot Wheels McDonald's toys, so these are pretty cool. I think this is going to be, yeah. So this is my personal collection, more, more of the personal collection of car culture. We got Modern Classics, still looking for that Civic. Some Wave 2 Boulevard. And in there, I think, yeah. So there's a 2016 truck set. Some track day in there, race day, red liners with that orange gas right there. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff for sure. Jesus Christ, I cannot. Yeah, it's very hard to go through the collection with one hand. So this is gonna be some random green lights. These obviously being the full cases of Japan Storics, and these are all literally just gonna be uh, what's this called? Yeah, so these are going to be the uh, bunch of drag buses. So all four of these cases are filled with the um, drag buses. Most of them are this, like, RLC drag bus. And there's, like, a few of these commemorative ones in there. 
not gonna go through them all, but they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, so, these big tubs, I was able to move them. So this tub is literally just filled with all my supers. I have a few of them sitting up there, but here's most of them. Got some very cool ones like that one right there. All you true collectors will know about that one. And I think all my 2016s and 17s are on the bottom, so we got some of the ones like the Porsche right there. Some cool ones. There's an 8. Yeah, I'm not going to try to look through these too much. So that's actually a cool one right here. At, there's a uh, red Ferrari Super. Seventeen. There's a cool little Acura right there. Yeah, so we're not gonna lose too much. More supers. Yeah, I know a lot of you like supers, so we'll we'll actually spend a little bit of time looking through these. Got some. There's another Porsche right there. It's actually the first one I ever found for super. Boombox, Mustang, Z4. Cool, cool pieces, that's for sure. I'm a big super collector. I'm trying to get all of them out there. And uh, I've got quite a few of the rare ones already. So I'm just trying to hunt the rest down. And in, we got some loose cases. These are literally, I think, just loose cars. Random loose cars. Uh, I got some... A little bit of a peek. There's just some 118s in these ones here. All these cases really are just uh, those boxed 118s. And over here, just more random stuff. We got like a full freaking little box here of these Mazdas. Some short card ones. Got just a whole bunch of them in there. And this tub, I'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of old, <laughs> old Hot Wheels that I've never... I'm just sticking my phone in here. Just a bunch of old Hot Wheels that I'm thinking about listing or just don't have time to list there's a cool gt40 Salido. nissan dar emma set no one wants those anymore right 15 pack 2001 got a bunch of these teslas so these are pretty cool actually these are quite expensive matchbox tesla convoys got a few of them there what else we got what else we got some 164s more 164s Cool collector set of, uh, of cars there. I'm pretty sure these are just 124 scale white lightnings. I do have a display for these, which I'll show you in a second, but these are just going to be the um, the regular white base white lightnings. So, white lightnings with the white, not that one, but some of them have the white interior like that one. Some of them have the white base. Those are very heavy. We're not going to go through them. More of them down there. Got a bunch of protector cases. Recently got all these, actually. I actually didn't have any for a very long time, but, um... Yeah, got a bunch of them now. Um... Bunch more stuff them selling. Fantasy cars. I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, so here's just a bunch of main lines that I'm trying to get rid of. He's actually signed Larry Wood, um... Uh, Larry Wood framed things here. Uh, let's see if I can... All right, give me a sec. Yeah, so I'm sorry if your camera's all over the place, but I've got some more Larry Wood. These are actually hand signed by Larry Wood. That's why they're in protect. They're in these frames, hand signed, hand signed drag bust one. That's actually pretty cool. Hand signed VW and the Bone Shaker. And these, I think, is just from my. Uh, end case encounters yeah, we got a, we got a ton of end case stuff in here i went pretty hard with the end case these are literally just stacked like that all the way all the way to over there they're just stacked like this some momos dot 